Hello, this is Marianne. I'm back for video number two of a demonstration using the Easy Off Oven Cleaner method for cleaning your cast iron pots and pans and skillets. Um, I'm outside. Nice, dry, sunny, kind of a windless day. We still have a little bit of breeze. So you'll need to pay attention uh, to which way the wind is blowing. You don't want any of the easy off to blow back in your face and uh, you want to pay attention um, so that you don't breathe the fumes. Now what I've done is I've lined an old cardboard box with a regular garbage bag and I have two other garbage bags sitting here to be used to hold the skillets and the griddle once they're all coated with easy off. Um, I'll take one bag and I'll insert it into the cardboard box and then I'll set the uh, the griddle in first. Now for me since most of the crud is on the uh, working surface of the pan and along the sides I won't put any uh, easy off on the bottom of this pan. I'll deal with uh, any rust issues later once the pan itself is all clean. Now I'll place this skillet or this griddle into its garbage bag. You'll notice I'm using the yellow capped Easy Off. It is stronger than uh, the other brands and styles that are on the market. Um, store brands will work okay but you may find yourself uh, uh, having to do this process more than the usual. Um, normally it takes me two runs using Easy Off over the course of a week. Um, one run it, of the griddle or the skillet in the pan maybe two three days in a warm dry place. Now paying attention to where how the wind is blowing I spray holding my breath too just in case the wind changes. And I'll coat the piece heavily. Try to get the edges as best as you can. You'll see how nice and foamy that is. And then I'll cover up the pan. Set it down inside. I do a double bag like this only because um, these are cheap bags. They could very easily spring a leak. Over time, the oven cleaner will eat holes through these. Um, if you want, you can use a stronger made garbage bag. Some people like to use the black garbage bags because they hold the heat better. Now, um, I choose to use these because I happen to have them on hand. Now for the second pan, this is my small logo, small logo Griswold. I put it in upside down first and I don't spray the handle because I want to go back after that. You'll also notice I'm wearing uh, rubber gloves. Um, you don't want to uh, do this barehanded unless you're a big strapping tough guy with calluses all over their hands. Uh, Gals, if you're using this, take off your jewelry before putting on the bags, just in case, before putting on the gloves, that is, because you don't want the, uh, your rings to bust the, uh, rubber glove. Okay. This is a nice lemon scented oven cleaner you want to spray and pay attention to where most of the crud is 
accumulated on your piece. The inside of this Griswold wasn't that bad um, when I was scrubbing it with the Chore Girl stainless steel scrubby. Um, a lot of that just scrubbed right off. I just keep spraying and spraying and spraying and hit the hit the handle last. Avoid inhaling the fumes of the oven cleaner. Excuse me for coughing. And you can already see where the oven cleaner is starting to work on the cruddiness that's on the uh, outside surface of this Griswold. Okay. That's a good thing. I like to see that brownish, blackish crud. Okay, this bag is going to get closed up. And it's going to be left to set for a couple of days. I will do another video here to do a reveal in two or three days. Hope everyone is safe and happy. Uh, enjoy your cast iron as much as I do. Talk to you soon. Bye.